Okay, I knew my clack video would uh, get a few people butt hurt and say simply say that I am uh, mocking and scoffing. Well, it's not mocking and scoffing when you simply point out what Kleck said was going to happen, and it didn't happen. He clearly said that the Lord told him that these things were going to happen, the Hoover Dam being one of them. That was his earliest prediction. There's a whole lot of other predictions that didn't come true. But uh, I had this one guy hiding in Jesus said, I found you all in the Bible. So he found me in the Bible under mockers and scoffers. It's not mocking and scoffing when you show the lies when Kleck says the Lord told him something and it didn't happen. That's not mocking and scoffing. That's simply pointing out the truth. He said, truly sad to see everyone throwing stones. Nobody's throwing stones. We're saying that he's a false prophet. He's a psychopath. He's a devil. How can you people not see the devil in this man? Of course he's going to speak some truth that's how the devil does it and then twist it at the end. You know, the Bible says a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Uh, the devil is going to appear as an angel of righteousness. You guys need discernment, need to understand that don't follow man, follow God. Now, let me go on. He says, all I do know is I am a witness living by faith. The Holy Spirit led me to Clack's channel right after praying for a family member that had two exorcisms performed on her in Mexico. Please don't let your pride think in your own understanding it is the gospel truth. Well, the gospel truth is the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That's the truth, okay? He says, we're all part of the body. Okay, you might be. You might just be deceived, but Kleck is not part of the body, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. But when we learn to stop shooting each other in the foot, we might get somewhere. We are supposed to carry each other over the finish line. All this is true, but when you're dealing with some, we're, we're, we're called to expose and reprove the darkness. The scripture says that we that are spiritual judgeth all things. We're supposed to point out and expose when a person comes on the scene that claims to be sent by the prophet. Also, Jonathan Cleck did not get saved through the gospel. His own testimony he said, Michael, the archangel, said, pray with me, brother, and repeated the Lord's Prayer. That's not the gospel. You know, use your discernment here. You got to go by what the scripture says. You can't, like it says in Proverbs, you can't lean on your own understanding. You have to go by scripture. As for Johnny, is there something you don't understand? Just ask him. I have asked him way back in the day, like 10 years ago. I watched some of his channels. And he actually came on my channel insulting me, saying that I was nothing, that I was going to the pit. The guy is an egomaniac. He's evil. He's pure evil. But first, ask the Father to show you. He will if you let him in. I've asked the Father to show me. Actually, I'm getting ready to show you. This is how the Lord speaks to you, okay? But he had to, he had to add, I'm unsubscribed now. Okay, good. I mean, if... If you want to keep following these false teachers and let them lead you to hell, then that's your choice. No hard feelings, but I won't be sharing your vids. And I promise you there's no hard feelings here. If you uh, One day when you find out that he is a deceiver, you're welcome back with open arms. Thanks for showing your true colors. Okay, let's see what Edwin Decker, good brother, said. 1 Corinthians 2, 15 and 16. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Amen. That's God's word. Yet he himself is judged by no man, of no man. For him he hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. Amen, Edwin. I like that. He says, you say you were led to his channel. Did you test the spirit that led you? I'm guessing you didn't. First John 4, 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone into the world. Okay, and well, I'm going to skip down to this one. Here's how you know when a false prophet enters the world. Here's where I answered Edwin. 
said they love their idols. God is no respecter of persons. Kleck has been called lying multiple times. He claims to be sent by God. Well, let's see what God has to say about it. First of all, if you if you tell someone that God told you, that God spoke to you, and you tell a lie, obviously God doesn't lie. But in Deuteronomy 18, 20, and 22, this is what God says. So it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what Kleck say. It matters what God says. But the prophet, now Kleck's claiming to be a prophet. He's the angel of the church of Philadelphia. So he says, but he says, which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. Okay, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, and the thing not follow, he said the Lord told him that the Hoover Dam would blow up. There's many more, I just don't have them pulled up, but I'll be glad to go through. There's there's numerous predictions that Kleck predicted that didn't come to pass. But anyway, he says, if the thing not follow, means if what he predicted doesn't happen, nor come to pass, that thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shall not be afraid of him. End of discussion. It's as simple as that. Okay, and I basically just shared the same verse down there. But he says, uh, Edwin, may Jesus bless you, I pray. I was just sharing my personal testimony. You're welcome to mock and scoff me if you want. I'll take those blessings coming for turning the other cheek to you. Bring on some more. You're accountable for what you say and what you do. Just remember that. Okay, here's what I said to him. I said, please explain how prophesying certain events that did not come to pass How is it mocking and scoffing when we're pointing out that he's a liar? That's not mocking and scoffing. Mocking and scoffing are people that are of God when you mock and scoff at them. People that are unbelievers, that's mocking and scoffing. But I just shared Deuteronomy where it talks about that if someone speaks in the Lord's name and it does not come to pass, do not be afraid of them. And even above it, it says that person shall die, which I'm not the judge of a cleck, but uh, we are called to expose the light. And uh, anybody else that has any problems with me thinking that I'm uh, scoffing and mocking, then you can unsub too. It, no hard feelings. I'm just sharing the truth. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a brother in Christ. I'm part of the body. I'm saved, one of God's elect, saved, child of God. And uh, like Edwin said, I want to read this one again. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. We are to judge all things. Yet he himself is judged by no man. For he who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. We do. We have the mind of Christ, and we're called to expose these deceivers. So anyway, hide in Jesus. I hope that you come to the truth. I hope you realize that Kleck is a deceiver. I mean, he's more than that. The guy is pure evil. I mean, all you have to do is look at all these poor folks that he led when he had this church that he built. You can check out Gene Revel, G-E-N-E-R-E-V-E-L. I believe that's his name. He devoted his whole ministry into exposing Kleck's lies. I'll find his channel, and then I'll leave that link in the comments, but stay away from Click. You guys have a good day. Later.